Recently, I decided to take the plunge into being better to myself. This included getting more exercise, eating better, and getting more sleep. These are the usual suspects we default to when we're not feeling as healthy as we'd like to. One aspect I didn't originally look at, but is just as important as the three pillars I mentioned, was the water we drink and the air we breathe. I decided to do a little research into the best way to make an informed decision concerning whether my water and or quality was good, bad, or indifferent. So the first thing I did was order an air quality company to provide me with their findings after a 24 hour evaluation of my home. To my delight, the findings put my air quality at good. Having an insatiable hunger for all things techie as well as more data and knowledge, I started researching all the different air quality monitors that have come out on the market in the past five years. After careful consideration, I decided to go with the Yoohoo air quality sensor. Since I really couldn't find any reviews on this device, I took a chance and I'm very happy I did. Here's the review of my device. Health. It's the most important thing in your life. The folks at Yoohoo feel exactly the same way and that's why they've developed a portable air quality sensing device to help people take control of their health. Yoohoo's vision is dedicated to providing people with technology to understand the air they breathe and empower them with knowledge to create a healthier home. They say that we take 20,000 breaths a day. Unless we have a problem, we don't think about what we're breathing in and how it, that air might affect our bodies. Air indoors is usually two to five times worse than the outdoors. Air quality is the single biggest environmental hazard in the world and one in 12 children and one in 14 adults in the US have asthma. One of the reasons I was really interested in this Yoohoo device, it's one of the most innovative air quality sensors currently on the market today featuring nine different sensors help manage your air quality. They include the following. Temperature, humidity, carbon dioxide, the VOCs, particulate matter, nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, ozone, and air pressure. This product is small and portable enough to take anywhere you travel. The device works on Wi-Fi using 802.11b, G, and N at the 2.4 gigahertz level. It's powered by a micro USB power adapter and a 5 volt DC external power adapter. It uses 256 bit encryption by the SSL for security and it can be used with iOS and Android mobile applications. You'll notice when you take the Yoohoo out of the box for the first time that it comes with the device, a charging cable and power adapter. The instructions you can find on Yoohoo's website. Now let's talk about setting up the app. Generally it's easy as plugging in the sensor, syncing the device with the app and presto it works. However, as much as I'd like to believe that, this is probably the only part I struggled with. So the first thing you have to do is go into either the Google Play Store or your Apple's iTunes Store. Download and install the Yoohoo app. You will then be taken to a login screen. Once there, hit the sign up button, which takes you to a sign up screen. Enter all your particulars, then hit the sign up button. It will then show you a success window, hit OK, and move on to the next step. This will bring you back to the original sign in page. Enter your new username and password, then it takes you to the main screen. It will then ask you to do the following. Connect your phone to the same Wi-Fi that Yoohoo is using. Turn off mobile data, turn on Yoohoo using your USB adapter and cable provided, confirm Yoohoo is glowing in solid dark blue, tap the plus sign in the top right corner and follow the on-screen instructions. If you manage to get this far, you're almost done. Basically the last bit connects your Wi-Fi to your new Yoohoo device. If you have any trouble, go through Yoohoo's instruction guide on their website. Personally, after using Yoohoo for a week, I was amazed how much information from this device helped me make my home a healthier environment. It had almost exactly the same results as the professional air quality testing folks I used just a few months earlier. The best part is that I can now monitor my house 24-7 and make real-time corrections to make my air quality better, like opening a door or window. 
I can turn on the fan on my furnace to carry fresh air from the outside into my home and change out the stale air. You can turn on your humidifier, your air purifier, any other devices you need to get your home to a healthier place in which to live in. I found that sometimes it's just the smallest things that need to be tweaked inside your home that can be the difference between a health concern and living in a healthier environment. So, in conclusion, would I recommend this device? Yes, with one caveat. The setting up of the app connecting your device to Wi-Fi and your phone can be a little simpler. Using 5 GHz band instead of the 2.4 GHz would also be nice. And finally, if you who could use the Google API as they leave it up to the app developer to join either the Google Home program or even beyond Amazon Alexa would be sweet. However, with that being said, I feel that this product is overwhelmingly a great tool for anybody that has health-related issues with air quality or is just curious as to how to make their home a healthier place to live. A quick shout out to Dustin and his team at Yoohoo for their great customer support when I had some issues setting up my device in the beginning. It wasn't the product, it was definitely the operator. Thanks guys.